Yo, I didn't even expect to be blogging tonight. Bow, 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 nigga. This is an emergency on the Citizens app. So, shout out to the subscribers. That notification gang is your man, Vodafi. I tell your mama I said hi. Yo, shout out to everybody who's been watching. King of the Dot, Mad Six. Shout out to everybody involved, all the battles that went down tonight. Uh, this is, I'll just do a quick little day one recap. Um, this is mostly about Rex, so I'm not even going to hold you. Uh, Rex, I've told you guys a long time ago, from way back in the days, them shotgun shells is red and lime green. When I squeeze, it's a Gucci crime scene. Uh, packing the Mac and back of the act, all that shit from way back. I've always been a huge fan of Rex, you know what I'm saying? We've had uh, ups, downs, but we good now. I just saw him at the last trenches joint. He gave me the grand champion joint. We, we cool, that's my man, you know what I'm saying? I always show love. But I've always held him to a certain standard. And the standard that we saw tonight was that God tier Rex, the, the, the Rex that we knew from. It was a vintage performance. Chiller did really well too, man. But Rex, when I tell <laughs> Rex was in a bag tonight. And Chiller had heat in his first, his second, and his third. He was good. Yeah, I don't have no complaints, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just. Um, I ain't gonna run down like the whole card the whole night, you know what I'm saying? I'll just give you a couple battles, the main ones that I really, really saw, and I'll get to how I felt about Rex and Chilla. Um, Marv won battle Geechee, uh, Geechee Slippity Blippity. He was like not even prepared. But I said it and when I was talking about the battle before it even happened that Geechee's looking for the hitmans, the, the, the bigger names, you know what I'm saying, to help solidify his resume and clear what he's got going on as far as being legendary. Marv 1 is a great battler, but he probably was not on the cusp of what Geechee was going into looking for, and he battled like it. And he didn't battle up, he battled down. Like throughout the battle, he's freestyling. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, cause I pull up, oh, yeah, yeah. And he, and I was, I ain't gonna hold you. I was taking notes cause I thought this was gonna be a good battle. But when I got halfway through the motherfucking battle and I realized that this nigga was freestyling this shit, I stopped taking notes. Look, they right here. I swear to God, that shit said Geechee versus Marv. Get close. I don't even, yo, yo, look. I was actually taking notes to try to do something, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, let me let me get a little notes, see about how the battle went, woo de woo de woo But bro, uh, is it, are we clear? Are we clear? Just know, the motherfuckers was right there. I had the notes for them shits though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I literally had notes. And first, uh, DJ comes out, 9, hold 11, let's see you do a 20v1. Since you shaped like a Teddy Graham, you ain't gotta give the bare minimum. Then he had a plain bars about plain spraying like a crop duster. He was freestyling and shit. How was name quest and nobody searched his name. Stand over him with the arms down like a poncho. Uh, my block like a slave auction. You pull up, I'ma show niggas. It was, it was very, very run-of-the-mill Geechee, but that nigga Marv was snapping. His first round, he was snapping. Uh, I paved the way, I paved the road that you walked down. Uh, the first gun I held was a Take 38. Far as bodies, I don't know what's on it. My rap performance is just like that pistol, cause they both catch bodies even with a little rust on it. Fire. Uh, large cigs, he the type to take a plea before you know what the charge is. Keep them chains tucked, cause if I see a golden eye, the cartridge is squeeze. Fire. Uh, de deactivate your Facebook Messenger. I literally shoot the man. This nigga, Marv, was wildin'. I had Marv with the first, second is kind of debatable, Marv clearly got the third, he had some shit in his last, his, his third round, he said the Udonis Haslam, this 40 will always have a place in the organization, if Hitler wears Prada, then the Crip wears caskets, when I take the west side nigga gun crazy, I'd have been an incredible drug deal, I ain't lost a pound yet, I know how to get rid of bricks quick in the AR, that nigga was going crazy, <laughs> um, fire battle, I had Marv 2-1, uh, a Ward had one of the rounds of the night. I had him beating Thesaurus 3 0. Uh, Sharon beat 40 bars. I think the first might be a little debatable, but Sharon cleared the battle after that. He whooped her ass. That's why it's one of them battles where he whooped her ass, she choking. <laughs> I didn't even hate it. SP had a 3 0. I got him, uh, you know, 2 1 3 0. I knew he was going to win though, because 40 be choking and shit still, all these years later. And she hate when people talk about it, but she choked again. So it is what it is. Um, <laughs> uh, who else was on that joint? Uh, Chef Trez versus Excel was pretty good. Trez was rebuttaling so fucking crazy the whole night. His rebuttals was one after another after another. It was mad rebuttals and shit. 
Uh, yeah, I had I had Trez winning um, two one. Uh, Twerk and uh, Pass got pushed to day two. I don't know. We'll see that shit tomorrow. Hopefully. Uh, Mike P versus Real Deal was a real good battle. Pretty debatable. That was a really good battle, though. You know what I'm saying? I had to watch that shit again. And I don't know. Did I see anything else? The first guys that had battle, I didn't see that. I was out and about. Uh, Frozen Bros did really great on the commentary. You know what I'm saying? Natural. You know what I'm saying? They, they do super streams and shit every day. And Frozen was one of the first people that put, that was the first person that gave me a look on Max out. So I already knew it was going to be a hand in glove fit. He did his motherfucking thing. Shout out to him and Bros. You know what I'm saying? They getting rave reviews. And I'm really happy to be able to sit down and watch somebody that I actually rock with who I've seen make it through the ranks and doing his thing. And he's one of the greatest. You know what I'm saying? At the media that to transform from battle rap to media froze is fucking out of here you know what i'm saying so shout out to him and everybody but that but let's get back into the chilla versus Ray. Woo -hoo -hoo. bro this nigga rex was in a different little baggington tonight he was wilding on uh he said uh he said i was married to the streets at the wedding, I said crack vows. He was moving too. Rex was moving. Once you see Rex start doing all of this shit, moving and all of that, you better know you win for one. And it was in Boston. But I said, I tweeted while the battle was going on. I said, when it comes to presence, delivery, crowd control, those three, the presence that Rex has, the crowd control, and the delivery is unmatched. You can't teach that. Rex got intangibles that you can't teach. You know what I'm saying? Literally has transformational talent. This nigga Rex is able to show up in a battle that a lot of people wasn't really high on. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. A lot of people was not high. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I mean, for him to be able to show up and have that kind of performance, yeah, it was, he got a lot of reaction. Yeah, the dot mob niggas was dead. But when Rex and Mook is in the spot and the nigga got three rounds, you got to know. <laughs> Chill up. Chill up. Chill up. You did good. Like the old like JD kids joint. You did good. Just wasn't enough. You did good though. That nigga Rex was moving on you. Once Rex get the, the spinning and went off. The nigga said some shit. What? The nigga said the heater knocked the meat off his bones. That's what I tend to do. And then Mook nearly ripped the nigga arm off so it looked like what he was tending to do. I ain't gonna hold you, Rex. Uh, that was a great performance, and I and I wasn't even going blog. I said that, but I said Rex has to get a blog tonight. People need to know the performance that he had. Married to the streets at the wedding, I sold crack vials. <laughs> he said, the nigga said, uh, you couldn't say who won if you ain't see the fight. Where I'm from, I thought a thousand and eight grams was the key to life. What? Then he had Lloyd Banks tweet his uh. Lloyd Banks tweeted his fucking another bar out the battle. The nigga said, my wish was at 11-11, but it was for 12-12. What? Yo, Rex. Yo, I said, y'all niggas know Rex, Ice, niggas like that, some of my favorite battle rappers ever. So when I see one of them have a vintage performance that's worth me talking about and stopping what I'm doing, the Giants is on, but they losing because they ass anyway versus the Jets. So I was like, fuck it. I turned that game on. I was like, man, I watched the niggas fumble the opening kickoff. Now nah, I'm getting the Rex. So I watched the, um, the Rex and Chilla. I do have Rex winning, probably a strong 2-1, but it could be a gentleman's 30. I ain't going to hold you. Like I said, chiller, bars for days. But bars to me just don't win battles. Like, just bars alone. are. It, I look at more intangible factors. The energy that I feel after a battle is over is normally how I determine who won. I've been doing this shit for God knows how long, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the energy that I felt on social media and the energy that I, I tweeted the bar too, the the, uh, the, 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 the heat of knock the, the, that's what I tend to do. I tweeted that shit and this guy, let me see the impressions on that shit right now. I put it out 40 minutes ago. It's got 7,000 views and it's moving towards uh, 6,700 impressions. Man, niggas, they gonna watch this shit. Shout out to Rex, shout out to uh, King of the Dot. You know what I'm saying, Mad Six. It's looking like a dope event so far. The first day, pretty solid. 40, the, the choking shit, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, the Saurus had like a slippy blip choking his first round and shit, but A-War was air frying him anyway. And, um, you know, but the Saurus had really good material. His material wasn't bad. A-War, when A-War don't battle every fucking week or every month or three times a month, 
he one of the best. The award that battled tonight is the reason why we started believing he was one of the best and why they were saying he's one of the greatest people to never be on URL and make it to the top. And once he got there and started battling niggas every week and shit like that, he started, he started running into issues. But that award that battles like once every other month, he gonna be hard to guard. Um, other than that, shout out to every single one of y'all out there, man. But yo, this is about Rex and nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know nothing, my performer, my my, my starter performer of the night to me was Rex. That nigga, I can't wait till that VOD come. I gotta see that shit again. I, I, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was very, 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 very impressed. You know what I'm saying? And I'ma, um, and I'ma end it with this, you know what I'm saying? I'ma say, uh, I'ma say, Rex was able to transmogrify. Transmogrify is my word of the day, is to change or alter greatly. He had a transmogrified performance tonight. That motherfucker was in a zone that I ain't seen him in for a long time. Them shotgun shells is red and lime green. I thought the nigga lost 30 pounds like me tonight, the way he was moving and shit. I couldn't believe it. But anyway, uh, shout out to everybody out there watching this content, whether religiously or passing. I know it's some of y'all that don't want to get involved and probably ain't caught the pay-per-view, but you don't move like a hater, dude. That shit was fire. The commentary is good. The event was good, you know, avocado shooting it, ruin your day, you know that motherfucker's already a movie. And uh, when that VOD come out, I'm definitely gonna watch it. We might do ball for ball breakdown and shit. Somebody, them, there may be people out there that feel like Chilla got around, or maybe got two. But the energy that I had from watching that shit and seeing what was going on on the motherfucking screen, man, shit, I'm leaving with this nigga head. Y'all know my slogan, this nigga dead. Shemir Vada Fly, man, stay blessed and fly, I'm out, gang.